Hey guys, what's going on? It's Grant from Grant and Shelby here today with another barbell box. This is the August edition. So um, for those of you guys who don't know, real quick rundown. Uh, barbell box is a fitness subscription box. It costs roughly around $35, depending on shipping where you're at too. Um, these guys are Canadian and uh, these guys do a really good job specifically looking at supplements versus um, other boxes where they're more well-rounded and things like that. And um, previously, they've been doing a really good job. They uh, they provided a BCAA Energy from Optimum Nutrition that I absolutely love. Um, it's one of my favorites. Um, I cycle through that pretty often. Um, and then they also have brought a lot of ways. Um, Ladder, for instance, they had steel supplements. They've had a ton of uh, Redcon One. Um, they've had a ton of other companies, um, big companies also in this box. So. I'm really excited to try this out. Um, it's a little bit like, it's like probably I would say three to four pounds. So um, I can definitely feel like there's something in here which I'm really excited to open and uh, kind of get my initial thoughts on and uh, overall review. So let's get at it. There is a lot of stuff in here. Um, let's go ahead and start with uh, the shrewd stuff. So it looks like there's shrewd food. And I've got protein cookies. Um, it's oat and berry and oat and chip. Um, and I've actually done um, a review off of Shrewd Foods Protein Pops. Um, that will be on the channel. I'm not sure where it is in the schedule, but um, that will be coming up pretty soon. So, and then we have protein croutons. Um, honestly, never thought croutons would have protein in them. So. Um, very interesting there. Um, you know, I do. I have been eating a lot of salads, so um, I might actually bring these with me to work because since I typically have my salads at work, we have Parmesan herb, actually two Parmesan herbs. So very cool there. Okay, so it looks like these are like proteins, high protein. Um, I've actually never heard of these guys. Um, there's both vanilla and also chocolate. Um, just looking at the ingredients, um, so it looks like there's 22 grams of protein in here, um, eight grams of carbs, which is, I'm, I don't know about that, um, but there's a ton of other aminos in here. Um, they have a full on list, but here's the thing that kind of throws me off. On the top of the ingredients list, organic cricket protein powder. Pink Himalayan salt also in the mix, like there's just, Organic stevia, uh, stevia, I mean like, there's monk fruit extract also in here too. I am hesitant when <laughs> the first ingredient is cricket protein. Um, I've, that's weird, that's weird. Then we've got um, Nutraphase clean greens and berries. Um, so I've actually wanted to have some super greens and try them out and see, see, see how well they are. You know, whenever you are like, Whenever you are working out and whenever you are thinking about getting a little bit more healthy or just feeling better about yourself, um, I typically notice that whenever I am eating more greens. Um, and then also on top of that to um, feel like I'm not getting as much of the nutri nutrients. And so I feel like having some sort of greens within my routine, um, especially super greens to see how well that is. Um, there's a lot of stuff to pack into here. I've been very hesitant on getting greens just because of, I don't know about the taste. And so for me to get it into a box, that's a plus there. All right, then it looks like I've got a peanut butter cup, clean fat, um, keto friendly, like smushed bar. <laughs> um, let's see here. It looks like there's like seven grams. So I guess this is just some sort of like dessert thing. Um, it's really smushed. So don't know about that. And then I've got more Bright Fox. Um, they put it in a baggie. I think it's just because of, they probably saw a couple of people. They put it in a baggie this time um, and it's grapefruit and ginger. And this one is still. I don't know if the other one's sparkling or not, but um, so there's that. I might actually be doing a taste, taste test off of these to see um, if they're good or not. Alrighty, so that wraps up the box. My initial thoughts on this box, um, very, a lot more consumable focus. So 
I mean, you have a lot of protein. You have some protein throughout the day with croutons, which I really like, and then there's also snacks. Um, they provided some really good, um, well, I'm not saying whey protein, but they provided some interesting protein there. Um, and they also gave you some super greens and then some you know, brands that you're used to. So, um, so-so on the box. Um, I think that if they provided any sort of caffeinated substance or like some sort of pre-workout, um, probably would have been a little bit better. Just swap out one of the two. So, you know, swap out the cookies for like some sort of sample of a pre-workout or even BCAAs or something like that. So uh, I'm gonna be going through um, their pricing um, for all these products. And then I'm gonna be doing my base pricing off of this. Again, um, well, one thing to point out is that a lot of these products I do not know of. So I'm gonna be basing it closer to their price. Um, estimating around the like average of like what proteins are typically or average of what supplements are typically and then going from there um, and then these guys are Canadian one thing to point out again um, so we will be going down so 75 cents for a dollar Canadian so let's go and start off with the bright Fox um, I think last time I was cool with that um, and so uh, it's ten dollars Canadian so again 750. Um, for US, 375 per bottle. A little bit expensive, that's like equivalent to like a beer. Um, so I don't know about that, but you know, I, I don't really know much about this company. Um, it's also aluminum as well, so like it's a little bit more expensive there, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that, take their word for that. Um, and so one thing to also point out is that if you use code barbellhydrate50 at, um, Drinking, drinkbrightfox.com, and you can save 50% off your entire order. Then there's also uh, protein croutons. We're quoting these to be $6 Canadian, so so roughly around like $5 for two of these, which that's $2.50 um, per packet. Um, little steep there, I think. Um, looking at a better crouton, like, you know, I mean, you can get a full bag for probably five bucks. So that's a little steep there, but um, I would probably put it closer to $2 each, you know, just to kind of make it a little bit better. Um, they are certain like single serving, so appreciative there, but I would I would put it at like four bucks, you know. Then we have the cookies. These are $6 again, you know, closer to four to five bucks. Um, that one I feel a lot, lot more comfortable to put at four to five. So I mean like even if we put it in the middle, so 450, you can use these in more situations. So whenever you are, you know, craving for a snack or whenever you are like, you, you can use it as a dessert. You can do a ton of things with this, right? Versus the other ones where it's just like you have to put in a salad or you have to, you can eat croutons separately, but wouldn't really recommend it. So um, protein cookies there. Then we've got um, the high protein powder by human improvement. So I guess that's what high is. Um, and it's $16 Canadian. So what you're looking at like 11 to 12 bucks for four packets, so $3 per packet. Um, little steep there. Typically protein, protein um, amounts are like $1.20, but again, they are extracting from like, they're extracting from unique proteins. So um, in which they are trying to improve um, a little bit more of the planets there instead of going for whey, which whey is typically cheaper. And then on top of that, um, they have this biodegradable packet. So if we were to combine those all together, I would say that it's probably closer to probably the 250 range per packet. Um, again, that's really, really steep, but again, you're getting something that's super unique, um, that's you know environmentally friendly, so it's definitely gonna cost more. Then we've got this smush thing, clean fats, um, $4 Canadian, $3 US. Um, I don't know what to say about that one. Probably could put it closer to 250. It's smush, so uh, I'm not really for that. But anyway, we're just, we'll just move on. They're quoting this to be $40 Canadian. So they're quoting this to be $30 US. Um, and typically for greens, that's actually a decent price on what you're gonna be getting for greens. I haven't really seen many lower. Um, typically, like the ones that are lower, they're more on like the Walmart um, type of 
aspects, but I'm really intrigued to try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and give it the $30 just because of like, that. that's how much I've seen. I've even seen it for more. So, um, and 30 servings for 30 bucks, you know, a dollar per serving. If you stop and think about it, that's not too bad. It's a little bit like, the only thing that I think about a dollar per serving is typically for protein. So to have this one a little bit higher, you know, a little bit hesitant, but again, wanted to try it out, see how it works. So if we were to combine this all together, you're looking at close to around a $60 value for this box. Again, I purchased it for 30 to 35, give or take. Um, you know, I did a six month um, subscription with these guys. And so looking at that, I mean, practically almost doubling your value. That's really, really good. Um, one thing is, again, I wish they had brought in like a pre-workout of some sort, um, but you know, definitely understand that like, that like this stuff probably is a little bit better for me versus a pre-workout. Um, I like how they brought back Bright Fox just because of I they probably saw an increase of people really, really liking the other one. I haven't even tried the other one. The other one's still sitting in the fridge. Um, the greens, I really appreciate for me because of I can try some greens, some super greens. I've never had super greens before. Um, and then also the intriguing protein, cricket protein powder. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. And then there's also, of course, the snacks that are, you know, readily available for you. So, you know, if I had to rate this box, I'd give it a B minus, probably closer to an 80%. They hit the mark, but I mean, they could have gone a little bit further. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the barbell box. What'd you guys think about this video? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you feel like there was something missing? Please put it in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.